Hi guys, it's Adria, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my everyday fall eye makeup look. I've been doing it a lot in my more recent videos, late October, November-ish. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys what I use and how I do it. So right now I just have my foundation on. I don't have my powder on yet, so just like my liquid foundation and my concealer. If you're curious what I use for that... I use the Maybelline Cover Stick in light beige for my concealer. And I use a combination of two liquid foundations. I use Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in medium one and the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 110. So yeah, I kind of just mix these two together because when it starts to get more cold, like my skin gets lighter and in the summertime I feel like my face is really dark. So I like having two foundations to mix, you know, just so if I'm tanner I can add more dark and if I'm lighter I can maybe not use dark at all. So I feel like it helps to have two different foundations so you can kind of mix depending on how tan you are if you hit up the beach a little bit girl so now on to what this video is supposed to be about my fall makeup look so for this look i'm going to be using the little black beauty book warm edition by elf i think this is an absolute must have for the fall i mean just look at all these colors especially this side all these browns just all of them are just so warm and just perfect because when i think of fall like i think of just warm colors like reds golds browns you know, that's just what I think of for fall, so that's kind of the look I've been wearing all throughout the fall. So first things first, I've been filling in my eyebrows. I don't know if anybody has noticed that I fill in my eyebrows now. I've been filling in my eyebrows for like the past like two months, I think. I've been using this color right here to fill in my brows. So taking this little angled brush by Shaney Cosmetics, I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows. Filled in versus not filled in. I see a difference. Yeah. So now I'm just going to blend my eyebrows out a little bit using this brush. They look a lot darker on camera than they are looking in real life. Like. In real life, they're like the color of my hair, but on camera they look dark. So now on to the actual eyeshadow look. For the base of my eye, I've been using this gold color in the corner right here. I'll get a close-up of it for you. Yep, that gold color. It's a really pretty gold, and it has some shimmer in it, so I think it's just perfect for the fall. I don't know. I've just been loving it. So I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. Here we go. Nothing too complicated, nothing too crazy. Don't you hate it when people did that in like school? Like they'd be sitting across the classroom and just be like blinding you with like their sharpener or something. Hated that. Oh, and by the way, the brush I use for that just looks like this. Pretty small, kind of fluffy-ish. Sometimes I use an angled brush for my crease. Sometimes I just use the same one. Depends on how lazy I'm feeling, but um, I'm just gonna use the same one for this one in case you don't have many brush options. I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's like a plum reddish color, kind of dark. Looks kind of like a wine or something. It's like just this kind of very elegant, warm, red, grapey, brown thing. As you can tell, I suck at being a kind of beauty guru, so deal with it here. All right. So I'm taking that on the same brush, and I'm just going to go kind of like in my crease and the outer edge of my eye. And here's a tip. It helps to do your eye makeup with your eye open so that you can tell like what it's going to look like when you're done. Because if you do it with your eye closed, you can't really tell how it's going to look when you open it. These things are important. Blend this in a little bit better. Now I'm just going to blend that out real good with this brush so I don't look crazy. Ah, everything's falling everywhere. 
this fall though, right? I feel like I have a hair floating in front of my face. So next I'm just going to take a pencil eyeliner. I don't even know what brand this is. It's so short that I had to put tape on it to even make it like holdable. Uh, see, it's not even holdable. I drop it everywhere. But yeah, now I'm just going to take this and put it along my waterline. I only do it like about halfway though. I don't do it all the way to the corner. Starting to look like a human being. Next I'm going to take my black Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and just do a line on my lid. There we go. Real thin, real simple. I'm not trying to do it super thick. Oh my gosh, I almost just spilled the liquid eyeliner everywhere. And there we go. Get this thing out of my life. And for my eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara, which I'm just obsessed with. Probably my new go-to mascara. I've been using it for a while. Let's do this thing. <clears throat> Although this is really kind of lame because you guys know what putting on mascara looks like. So you're probably just sitting there like going onto your different tabs and texting all your friends back because it's like, oh, this is the lame part of the video I really don't need to see. I know what you do behind that computer. You can't fool me. And I know you're watching this on your iPod. You can't fool me either. My hair is like sticking up real weird in the back. Ugh. Look at the difference that makes. Cause I feel like I look like such an alien without my mascara on because my eyelashes are blonde. So it's like they're non-existent unless there's black on them. I can hear my faucet dripping and it's really annoying. Okay. And there we go. And also for this fall look, I have been using this lip gloss right here. It is Stay Glossy. Does it have a number? 260. And I feel like this is a good color for fall. It's like a brownish purple. I don't really know how to describe colors, honey. Just take my word for it. And it has a little bit of sparkle in it. So. And there we go. So that is my finished fall makeup look that I've been wearing all throughout the fall. Better look up close. I know, this is very unflattering. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look into your soul. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any more beauty related videos you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. I know I'm no beauty guru, beauty expert of any kind, but you know, I kinda like to keep it real because I'm just an average person just doing makeup sometimes. So if you guys would like to see more makeup videos, beauty videos, anything, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, anyway, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye. Stay fabulous. All right, so now on to the, what this, all right. So then we have,